every time Jimmy goes back to throw, it's an adventure. Like mm-hmm. we're 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 living on the edge with him. So he makes the win not as enjoyable because now you're sitting there like, bro, he almost gave the game away again. Yeah. And and you basically know as a Niner fan, like, we're on borrowed time. It's yeah. only a matter of time until he makes that fatal mistake and cost us another Super Bowl. And frankly, so, it would have it would have happened in Green Bay had the special teams not saved the day. Come you know on, what I mean? bro. Like that's what Niner fans don't realize. You were that close to going off the cliff, and special yeah. teams reached out and grabbed you, pulled you back up. But that's how close it was. Special think team. Of, th- think about this: if somebody would have told you the 49ers are going to go into Lambo and not score a touchdown and win the game, you would have right. been like, what? How? Like, that's impossible, bro. Yeah. Like, that's a magic trick. And yeah, that's and that's what basically I'm what happened. They, did it. they had a magic trick. Jordan Willis and Todd. They didn't know where the ball was. No one knew where the ball – I've never seen anything like that, man. That was never, crazy. ever. Like, I've, I've watched that replay at least 10 times. And the, the, the angle that Willis hit the ball – like it's like I've heard, I've seen in the comments, team of destiny. These are the type of things that happen to a team of destiny when the, the guy Jordan Willis hits the ball and the angle he hits the ball lands perfectly right in front of Hufunga. It was like divine to, intervention, right? God come blocked on, that. Bro. It was God like, come that on. Line. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, bro. It's like, yo, yeah. I know you got a heart, like a, a great team. Debo is out here putting his his guts on the line. Debo damn near he you got guys like Debo, Kittles, Trent Williams. These guys are damn near dying on the field. Like, they're yeah. limping to the sideline. Right. And here goes happy-go-lucky Jimmy smiling his way all the way to the sideline. We did it! We did Come it. on, bro. It's like the dude in the, in the uh, group project when they get the A who's just celebrating. It's like, man, you didn't do anything. You showed it's up, not, ate the snacks. Nothing, bro. You, you actually, like, we called you during the project and you were snubbing <laughs> us. Like, we had yeah. to, like, Physically, just put your name on the project yeah. just to get the A. Because yeah. if we all didn't do it, we will all get the F. That's right. But, and, and what infuriates me is at the end of the game, who's the first person the cameras pan to? Jimmy. They pan right to Jimmy like he yeah. had. But I will say this. There's such a thing as steady in the ship. And he seems to be able to do that, but to a point. Because then he turns into the arsonist yeah. that – turns into the firefighter in the same game. Like, it, it, it's crazy to watch. And it's maddening. Like but this I, team has the patience to believe in Jimmy Garoppolo. Just wait till you get to play with Trey Lance. You'll believe in him, too. It'll be easy. Bro, like, there's <laughs> nothing that Trey Lance couldn't have done in the Green Bay game that Jimmy did. Like That's what I keep saying. Like, like, Trey's not ready. Tra- not ready to do what? That Jimmy <laughs> Explain that. Exactly. Not, ready to but, do, not ready to post a, a quarterback rating of 57? I think you'd do that. I think you'd definitely do that. While running. But I'll, I'll say this. If the plan is let's not damage the kid, I, I think that was the plan going into this year. So. Like, we we don't want to damage the kid. We want him starting on a clean slate. Let's let Jimmy just do him, and let's mm-hmm. see what happens. And just like Jimmy, right on schedule, he doesn't get hurt this year. Yeah, He's got us on the road to the Super Bowl. Like, what? And he's not increasing his trade value. He's just like, I'm going to play kind of bad, but we're going to win. And what are you going to do about it? You know, it's great. (laughs) It it just sets up for uh, a a, great. Like, I really believe they're going to, they should beat the Rams. And not just because the whole seven, they have them psychologically. When you have a team psychologically, like six straight tells me I own you, bro. So I, I really expect them to win that game. And I want to think that's a real thing. Go ask the Seahawks about the Niners. Exactly. They yeah. own us. They yeah. own us. It doesn't matter what type of season they're having. Yeah. They will beat us. So yeah. I'm looking for the, I'm looking forward to um, meeting Pat Mahomes in LA and hopefully winning a Super Bowl in the Rams home field. Like that means that's our house from now on. If we win a Super Bowl in SoFi Stadium, we officially have two home stadiums from now on. So I'm looking forward to that. But picture of Jimmy Garoppolo beating Patrick Mahomes in the Super Bowl. That's the thing, yeah. man. They yeah, better right. hope Cincinnati wins. <laughs> I feel you, bro. But again, good job, man. I, I'm enjoying it, bro. Like, keep doing your thing. Be hey, safe. We'll up again after the after the season's over, man. I'll oh, have sure. a lot of time. I'll be home for, for seven sure. months. We'll do it, man. For sure. 
Hey, um, what did you hear about um, McDaniels? Because, you know, I'm on the Dolphin front, too. Is, is uh, that going to go through or? I don't know. I mean, they, they would have to wait for the Niners to get eliminated, right? So I don't know. Yeah, that, that's why I was like, I hope we keep going. That way McDaniel doesn't get poached. You feel what I'm saying? I don't think so. they, he, he's going to get hired on this cycle. He's never called plays. I think a team would like to hire him as an offensive coordinator to give him that mm-hmm. one. Like, now call our plays, and I think the Niners are going to block that because they can say that's technically not a, a promotion. So they're going to block that. I think he's in a, a little bit of a tough spot. I don't think teams want him as a head coach just now, but they would love him as an offensive coordinator. Yeah, he's really He'd love good. to go. He wants to call plays. He wants to advance in his career, but sorry. Sorry. He's, he, he's really good. Like, um, Oh, last point. I have to give – um. Shanahan credit. I know that's your um, mortal enemy right now. <laughs> oh, he's doing a good job. He's doing a good job. <laughs> nah, but Shanahan, I, 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 I salute him because, bro, we, we've gone down the road of incompetent coaches. At least, I know he does a, a couple things, and I know the whole Jimmy decision, it, it weighs a lot on um, fans like me, but at the end of the day, I trust him, bro. If he, if he feels that trade Right now, it's better for him to be absorbing everything. And I've been in that position where you know you're better than the person that's on the field. And all it does, it, it puts another log in that fire of hunger that you have. So I expect Trey to be a monster next year. You feel me? He's going to have a great offseason. His body's going to fill out a little bit more. And he'll have more of a grasp of the offense. So that's the only thing I'm encouraged about. But the only thing disappointing is that we have a Super Bowl team like the last three years. We should have at least uh, at least one championship. And I hate to see us have three years of no Super Bowls, bro. Yeah. Like this team is built to win now. Like it, it was, it was and it's not it easy. In the Buffalo Bills from the 1990s, uh, early 90s, dangerous. Bro, it, don't not waste easy. This. Yeah. yeah, don't waste the opportunities, bro, because it's not easy to get to this point. Like, this was one of my most enjoyable seasons because of how – A lot of luck had to go the Niners' way, right? Debo Samuel yes. had to convert a third and 30 in Chicago. They had to block Bruh. a punt. I mean, a lot has gone their way. Don't waste this. A lot. Yeah. Don't waste the opportunity, but we'll see what happens, man. But, again, right. congratulations, bro. See you soon. Have a good day out in Miami. Yo, I will, man. Take a look. Grant, what do you think of the Rams limiting tickets to the game for fans who only live in the L.A. area? I think they stopped, but it's not going to work. It's going to be mostly Niner fans there. L.A. people don't care about football. I just noticed that. Not a quarter. It's a basketball town. And then baseball. Not a quarterback draft this year. Niners went all in last season for Trey. Are John and Kyle looking like forward-thinking geniuses at this point? If they were playing Trey, then yes. If they were playing him, then yes. But they could win the Super Bowl with Jimmy Dilford. Lots of positivity on this team if you ignore the quarterback. It's true. Absolutely. Do you think Shanahan is keeping Jimmy in for the team as in the team would sour on Shanahan for putting in Lance? That's the only thing I could think. And few people have said that today, that the locker room is just insisting on Jimmy Garoppolo. And if that's who they want, then I guess, what do you, what do you say? Right. Can this version of SF score enough to beat Kansas city? I don't know. It seems like their, their offense now is worse than it was two years ago because I mean, everyone knows you, the Niners don't believe in Jimmy. So just, the Niners will shut down Jimmy. You shut down the run game. I don't know. What if Jimmy leads the Niners to a Super Bowl win, takes a pay cut for the team, and says he wants to retire the Niners? Grant, would you like – look at him different. I would. Um, sure, but that's not going to happen. He's not going to say, I want to start retire with the Niners. Give me a pay cut. I just want a Super Bowl. Pay me less. No. He, he has an ego. He wants to be a franchise quarterback. If the Niners gave him another $100 million contract, but um, I don't see it going like that. Would the Niners stay in L.A. if they win on Sunday? I don't think so. Dude, it's like it's a 45 minute flight. You can go home. They can be home in 45 minutes. If F, if SF goes up seven nothing and forces a three and out to start the game, it's a wrap. They will have a psychological stranglehold on LA. I mean, even if LA goes up seven nothing, I they're in a psychological hole. The Rams would pick up Jimmy to give our secrets. That's McVay for you. Uh-huh. I don't think so. Rams versus Bengals calling it now. Well, that would be great news for the 49ers. Just phenomenal news. People say Jimmy is clutch. Yes, he is. He's like a clutch in your 90C Civic with <laughs> 96 Civic. Who's calling me? Uh, with 300K miles on it, that makes you nervous the whole trip. But hey, it gets you there. Go Niners agree. That's a hilarious analogy. 
players should keep telling Kyle to give him the ball like Debo did. It will definitely reduce Kyle's mistakes with the play calling in big situations, and Jimmy's holding us back from the Super Bowl. What do you think would happen if Brandon Ayuk went to Kyle and said, Kyle, I want the ball? He wouldn't get it for the next 10 weeks. He'd be in the, he'd be so far back in that doghouse. You know I'm right. You know I'm right. 